Let us open the Board of Health meeting on November 28, 2017. Uh, the agenda for tonight, we're going to start with uh, public discussion. Uh, I don't see that we have any public discussion here so far. Uh, we could wait a minute or so, but uh, it was scheduled for 5.35, our meeting, so we'll give it a minute and see. So I think we can get into the rest of our agenda here. Uh, first up is me with my chair report. Uh, let's see. Uh, on my chair report, the first thing would be the update on the House Bill 2864, which we've been uh, following now for several months. That is the bill which will increase the state uh, tobacco sales age to 21. I spoke actually just today with uh, Brad Jones' office, and she tells me that uh, the secretary of the, the legislative assistant tells me that it is still in committee. The bill is still in committee. It is not dead. The committee uh, is, is still reviewing it. The session will end next July, so we should know by July. But there is no, there's really no word on it of, as far as what's in committee. She had no, no idea. I'm hoping that it just doesn't get stuck in committee because the last legislative season it did, and it didn't get, it didn't get anywhere. Right. Uh, but I'd like to see some action on it. We've, we've already uh, sent Speaker DeLeo a, our support of it, so we'll have to. We're on hold on that still, I guess. Uh, also, as far as the tobacco and nicotine update, a couple weeks ago there was an article in the Boston Globe about the Jules cartridge, J-U-U-L-E-S, Jules. Basically, it's a new cartridge of nicotine delivery that seems to be quite popular in the high school set. Uh, I spoke with our tobacco control agent, Maureen Busby, uh, she, I guess, has sent out some, some information to some of the health agents and, and uh, tobacco control people in, in the state. Uh, it is, the cartridges are available in non-flavored uh, variety, so that means technically they, can, they could get it in ready uh, because we're only, we're only limiting flavored uh, tobacco products, so technically they could get it in ready. So, John, real quick in regards to that, um, this is a nicotine product. Is there a dis distinction between tobacco and nicotine product? Because right, this isn't actually a leaf. This is a, this is a liquid form, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, our, our town regulations prohibited any type of flavored item. Of flavored which. item. So it didn't specify a specific thing like just tobacco. Uh, it, tobacco and and vape products. Okay. So flavored vape products are not allowed. Got it. Uh, but non non flavored tobacco flavored or not, but tobacco e nicotine is uh, anything non flavored available. would be Correct. available. Okay. Correct. Uh, she did note that in the last youth risk behavior survey, the 2016 2017, that there was a dramatic increase in high school vaping. Uh, which was one of our concerns with the regulations. Uh, I think we all know some of the side effects and some of the, the cautions of nicotine in children. So I think we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, she volunteered. If, if we'd like, I can get in touch with her. She could come and give us a little presentation at some point over the next several months uh, about what she's trying to do with the vaping uh, around the state. If, uh, if we would like to have her come by. We could do that. Uh, Certainly seems fit. She could let us know of her, her concerns and what, uh, where she's at with that anyway. Uh, the second item is the vaccination awareness in town. Uh, I know Laura will give us a little update on the vaccination, the flu shot vaccinations in town, which seems to have been going pretty well. Uh, I have spoken with Jane Burns at Elder Services 
uh, regarding her uh, nurse advocate, the potential of the nurse advocate giving home vaccinations to people, uh, not necessarily flu shots, but also maybe the pneumonia shots and other vaccinations that they would need that we may not provide from our health department. Uh, I'll continue to speak with Jane about that. Uh, I think that's one of our goals. My, one of my goals, one of our goals, is to increase vaccinations, awareness, and increase vaccinations in town. That's something that I would really like to do. Uh, one of the problems was the, the elder service nurse has no standing orders to uh, administer vaccines. To, to administer vaccines, if you're not a physician, you do need a standing order from a physician. Uh, we could potentially work with that. Uh, the, our, our health nurse does have the standing order when I saw those. So we'll, we can work with the town and maybe the doctor that writes it as far as actually naming the health advocate nurse for the senior, uh, for the senior center for that. Uh, would that be a possibility? She's going to be um, going out. She'll be Correct. out for a period of months. Correct. So she won't be available, uh, I think it's sometime in January. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, she, she's going to be out for 12 weeks, is it? Or? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yep, but that's, so. that's something we can put on our burner to, when she gets back, is try to get the standing orders for, for her to be able to do that. Is that something we can work with? Um, why wouldn't we be going through the public health nurse? Mm, why wouldn't we? No, yeah. this is the senior. This is the... No, but why wouldn't... If the public health nurse currently provides home visits mm -hmm. and vaccines, administers vaccines to homebound. She's okay. doing that now. So why wouldn't is we that, just continue that practice? Uh, does she do pneumonia vaccines? Does she do... Is, is the vault... Do you have enough... Do you, is there enough time for the public health nurse to do that? Because I think she has quite a few home visits that she, uh, that she does. I'm not sure. I, mm -hmm. I have, I'm not aware of any constraints. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, that right now. It seems now, like, you know, the, the fact that the nurse advocate will be out of the office for the first three months of the year, that's really not a great resource. We have a public health nurse now that we can work with, and we're you know looking to hire someone. So okay, is the public health nurse now? Does she have the time to do that? We'd have to look into it. Okay. She's not had a problem with any yeah. home visit that's called. She's got okay. them all in. She did all the flu clinics. She's uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't see where. Do we typically have a high number of of calls? Total with so everything. Home? I didn't break them down, but total all the flu shots she gave out was with clinics for uh, four hundred and eighty five. Okay. But and she hasn't turned down anybody that's wanted them at home. Do you know how many home visit Not flu shots? Not off the top of my head, no. no. Okay. But I know that she's even, like, she does them, like, that day. Because she was like, oh, she was coming in for one on Monday, and then she was out, and she was like, oh, came back to get another one. Somebody else needs one, so. Okay. okay. Not no, I'm just I'm looking to make it as, as available as possible. Uh, I know we're under a little time constraints with our part-time part health nurse. Uh, no, no, actually we're not. No? No. Okay. She can do as many hours as she needs to get everything done. Okay. And Jean, you said we have um, we, we have it out there for another hiree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do we have anybody that's applying? We've had a few applications, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start that process up. Good. Uh, and as far as vaccinations, there's also, you've probably heard on the news, an outbreak at UMass Amherst of meningitis. Uh, UMass has, their health services, I believe, has begun the vaccination process for a lot of their students. Uh, there are two, well, there's, there's two types of meningitis vaccines. Uh, the one currently that, that they're administering, there are, there are two types of that type, uh, of which one of them, I've, been, I've checked around town to see if there's any available in town. Right now, a lot of them are getting vaccinated at school, but there's a second vaccination needed between one and two months after getting the first one that, that they're administering. Uh, I've checked around here to see if there's any available. And as of right now, I haven't found any pharm pharmacies can provide that for them. And I have not found any pharmacies that, that have it. It's all, it seems to be on back order. So I've asked, I've asked the pharmacies, Laura, to contact you. They, they do have it on order. 
I've asked them to contact you if they do get it in. Uh, I don't know if you've gotten any calls yet regarding no. the, 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 hep, the uh, meningitis vaccine. Uh, but if you did, uh, I've, I've asked them to contact you if they get it in. Uh, of the two types, one is a three dose and one is a two dose of the B serotype uh, vaccination. So the ones that they're giving at UMass is the two, the two uh, vaccination type. And it would be nice if someone around here would carry that just in case, you know, if they come home and want, needed the vaccine to have it. And the pharmacies can do that. Uh, one other thing, tomorrow night there is a meeting. The Council on Aging uh, is bringing an initiative uh, for the d dementia awareness training in town. Uh, Jane Burns is, I believe, going to run that tomorrow evening. Uh, I plan on attending that and see what, if anything, the Board of Health can do to help help with that. Uh, any comments about uh, that? Being able to us to be able to help uh, on that on the meeting itself. Well, in the meeting and and the just the uh, bringing awareness to to the program to the dementia awareness uh, pr program and training. How long have they, is this something that they do on a, on a yearly basis? Mm -hmm. Well, I think once this, a year, twice a year. Three. From, from what I understand, this is sort of the initiative. This is the initial meeting. Okay. Uh, and I'll find out more. Is it Brian Snell is the Council on Aging? Yes. I believe he's he's running it along with Jane. Okay. So I'll find out more tomorrow. But that would be, you know, something we can look into is what information, what we can help with. Yeah, yeah certainly. I mean, we have one of the more uh, growing uh, senior populations mm -hmm. in a lot of towns around us. So this would be something I think that absolutely mm -hmm. be interesting to find out. Uh, what, where they take it, what information they're giving, where they plan to go with it. Mm -hmm. As far as the Council of Aging, on Aging, excuse me, we can mm -hmm. certainly help out in any regard that we need to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think as far as, that's about what I have for, from the chair. Uh, any, any questions or anything? Or? No. Uh, next on our agenda is the health agent report. Uh, Laura, I've got uh, gee, I don't know if you got this too, but this is our. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right. So our food inspections, reinspections, complaints, everything is going smoothly. Um, we did start our animal inspections, so if you have mm -hmm. chickens or horses or anything like that annually, they need to be inspected, and we started those. Okay. Uh, they should be done by the end of the year. That and that report goes to the state. Okay. Uh, I already told you we did 485 flu vaccines. Um, we're right on track with our 3D coalition. We have another couple of de de deliverables that I'm working on. We're not finished. Working on updating our action plan, and we're in the process of renewing our annual permits right now. Can you just describe for me what is the 3D? It's the coalition in case of an emergency okay. for all the emergency preparedness. So they want to know the first ones we already met were where were our flu clinics, how did our flu clinics go. Then there's another action plan on. Um, how did you set up for it? What would you change for it? What would be a faster way to get it in case it was an, used as an emergency dispensing site? Okay. Thank you. And the renewal of the health permits include the food, the dumpsters, catering, tobacco. Oh, that's this time of the year. And we're on track with that, and they should be done by December 15th. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, and just like to say good job to the health department and Laura for the vaccinations. That's a lot of people getting vaccinated uh, for the flu this year. Thank you. There was actually another, I think, 30 that have gotten none after mm -hmm. we closed the time on October 31st. So yeah, you'll see that. those on next month. So yeah. do we have anything else or is this just in calls now? In calls. Okay. Unless you know some place that needs them, let me know. Okay. And then I attached the um, schedule for the 2018 mm -hmm. meetings in case we needed them for work purposes or anything. So mm -hmm. you know, plenty of notice. You can't book the library more than three months out. Okay, so every three months we'll just have to right. put in for these so and they might, you know they might change. Yeah, okay. so I'll let you know exactly there. February is already <clears throat> booked for the library. Okay. Yeah. 
And any any problems with the inspections at all? No. No. No problems. There was one thing I did walk by. Uh, Pavarotti. Have you been by Pavarotti? Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like the shelf they had. Did that come off? We actually had to rem remove all the vinyl siding. It was a hood uh -huh. issue that was just a connection from where it was going through the wall. Okay. Repair the problem. And now the owner has to just put the vinyl siding back on. So it didn't affect the restaurant at all. It was a kind of an mm -hmm. outside thing. External thing. Yeah. Okay. But that's where all the grease was coming from that was going on the sidewalk. I see. So now this is, is the shelf. There was a shelf put on. Uh, I don't know if they were going to require the shelf to be put back Sounds on. Sounds like the shelf should be obsolete at this point yeah. if they did their work correctly. Yeah, I think it had mm -hmm. more to do with the actual component. Right. Unless right. they keep it there just for backup, but I don't think they'll need it. Mm -hmm. But it was a licensed company that did it, and we have their report on file. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, because I walked by and I saw that, that what they had was out, and I noticed there was on the ground, it was looked like some... Well, that was just sweat. from cleaning it, yeah, and, okay. you know, what's come <coughs> off since they were working on it. Okay. But that issue is closed, actually, so All it's right. good, except for the fact that I put the vinyl sign back on, that's just aesthetic stuff. So. Right. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's see. Next is our minutes of the meetings that we have had over the last few months. Uh, Kevin, did you have a chance to review the executive session? Minutes? I have, yes. Okay, I, admit, I didn't know if Heidi had, uh, but uh, this, uh, and you got that note that I sent out regarding sort of our, <laughs> our, sort of what I would like to do is the procedure of how we can go about it. Let's see. I guess we can start with the dates, the dates that I have. Uh, the first one was the minutes of July 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Looks like the minutes were approved. The open, the open meeting minutes were approved and the executive minutes were approved at that meeting uh, at 8.16. It is now up to us to release the minutes of the executive session of 719. Uh, any any discussion at all of that one? And then I've reviewed them. I think we can release them. Okay. Um, would you like a motion? Sure. Uh, make a motion to re release the executive session minutes from July 19, 2017. Uh, second that motion. All in favor of releasing the 719 minutes? We got a roll call because they're executive? Might as well. Uh, sure, we can do roll call. Uh, roll call. Kevin can, Sexton? Uh, do you want me to roll call it? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sexton? Yes. Mr. Costigan? Yes. Thank you. And Ms. Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer is absent. Do you have to okay. put that in for, for the time no. being? Okay. Okay, so that is released. Next are the minutes of August the 8th. Uh, we would need the approval. Uh, I, I do not have the minutes of the August 8th open session meeting. Uh, I have reviewed the executive session, but open meeting session I don't have. I was not present at that meeting. Uh, we have not released the open session of the 8th, is that what you're saying, John? We have not approved it yet. We have not approved them yet? We have not approved the open session. Okay. The executive session has been approved. Executive session has been. But we do... Oh, I see where you're going. Okay. But we do have the... We do have the... Um, the minutes. Uh, that's what I'm... From the open uh, session on the 8th. Uh, on the 8th, we do, yes. Yes. So we do have to approve that. Okay. Yes, we would have to do both the, we, we have to approve the 8th. Right. Uh, open session, and we do have, the executives have been approved, but they just have to be released, correct. Okay. If you want, to, um, unless you have any changes, you want me to make a motion to approve the open session on the 8th? Uh, yep, that would be good. Okay. Um, move to approve the minutes from the open session of August 8th, 2017. And I will second that. Um, 
I'll just state I, I'm happy to vote for these, although I was not present. I did watch that meeting okay. uh, over the summer, so I'm happy to approve them since we only have two of us here today. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Uh, roll call. Kevin Sexton? Well, these are just um, open session, so okay. we can just okay. do a show of hands. That. Yep, fine. 2-0. Two 2-0. Zero. Two zero. And next we would have the release of the August 8th Executive Session Minutes. Uh, I did review those. And Kevin, did you have a chance to review those? Um, I did. Uh, and I just have one uh, clerical change. Mm -hmm. And as I was reading through them, I was there was um, a lot of reference to Mass General Law in these minutes. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of references, so I always just like to look it up um, and see just to correspond with what mm -hmm. what's on the paper. So there was one um, at the bottom of the page. What minutes are we talking about? I'm We're sorry. talking about the 8-8 oh, eight, 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 uh, executive session. session. August 8th okay. executive session. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, at the bottom of the page, it had a reference to an MGL 3A, from MGL chapter 3A. There is no such chapter. Mm -hmm. But when you read the description that followed, um, and um, when you read the description that followed as to why it was citing that, mm -hmm. that does fall under another Mass General Law, which is 39. So I'm assuming that it was supposed to be 39, not 3A. Okay. Uh, I spoke to the town clerk, and even though we're not in an executive session now, mm -hmm. um, we, can, we can make clerical changes as long as we're not referencing what the executive session minutes were about. Okay. And so that's why I bring this up now when we're not in executive session, okay. um, because we did get the approval from the clerk to do so. Mm -hmm. So the motion that, uh, or the change that I would make is uh, make a motion to accept a change in the paragraph at the bottom of, um, I, I believe that was a one-page document I put down here at the bottom of the page. I'm assuming page one. Um, if otherwise, we can change it from MGL 3A to MGL 39. Okay. Is that the executive session? Part? That was the executive session. Mm -hmm. Again, there is no MGL 3A or chapter 3A. Of the MGL chapter 39. Okay. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. How do we get those to change it? Um, we need to, re this was already approved, so we need to um, reapprove the minutes um, with, the ch with a um, subject to the change. The, the amendment. Yeah, amendment to the change. Okay. Right. And then you provide us the minute, you provide Laura the minutes? Um, we haven't we, seen them. We, Right. Well, we can we can submit the change to the amendment to her. Right, and she'll she can she can change and improve. So what we can do tonight is we can we need to reapprove okay. the minutes first of all, um, uh, with an amendment to that to that section, approve then uh, accept that approval, and then release them. Okay. Then she can change them. And give them to us. Yes. Okay. Then they'll be public records. She she can change amend <clears throat> that that portion and, and then submit them as new public stamp them as a new public record. Thank you. Um, so I would, um, unless you have other, any other comments on that? No, nope, that Okay. No. Uh, I'll make a motion then to reapprove the minutes of the executive session on August 8th, 2017, as amended. Mm -hmm. And I will second that motion. And we should have a roll call for executive session. Yep. Uh, this is just to approve them right now. Yep. To reapprove, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sexton? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. I thought you were asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm multitasking and my brain isn't quite following. <laughs> uh, Mr. Kosti? Yes. Motion carries to the zero. All right. Um, make a motion to release the executive session minutes of August 8, 2017. And I will second that to release as amended. And we should have a roll call for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Sexton. Yes. Mr. Costigan. Yes. Motion carries. Okay. All right. Uh, now we're on to August the 15th. No, I'm sorry, August the 15th is the one that I did not have the open session minutes to. Is that. Uh, I don't, I don't believe I don't believe we have approved the open open session minutes to that. 
And I don't, I have not seen them anywhere, so I'll have to keep looking for those. We haven't seen them either. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we do when, uh, in that. Worst case scenario is we can recreate them. Uh, well, mm -hmm. we'll have to check with the town council, but I assume we could recreate them using okay. uh, the video that we have of that meeting. Okay. Again, they don't have to be detailed, everything that sure. is said, right. but the main points mm -hmm. and topics. And if we can't find them, I'll, we can check the town council to see if that's satisfactory. Okay. Town clerk may even know the answer to that question. So if you want to hold off so on let's, those. Yeah, let's, we'll hold off on the approval of the open session August 15th. Hi, Heidi. Hey, Heidi. Is that something that we could do? Staff can follow up on that? Yes. Sure. Find out the best path forward. Yeah, yep. find out who. Yep, that's fine. If, who and if we can do that. And okay. Then, yeah. And I'm, I'm happy to um, draft them up if, um, if needed, if you want to do that, or, or do you want to take we that on too? It. Okay. Mm -hmm. even, even better. <laughs> so that was 815, the open session. Correct. That is, will be created and held off on approval. Okay. Hi, Heidi. We're just in the process of uh, approving minutes and releasing executive session minutes, and well, and approving those also. Mm -hmm. So that was for the open session. That was open session. Yes. The executive session meeting minutes for eight fifteen, August fifteenth, have been approved. They were approved at the August 29th executive session meeting, uh, but we have not released those yet. Heidi, did you have a chance to view the executive session yeah. minutes? Mm -hmm. uh, well, right now, what we're what we're looking at are the August fifteenth executive session minutes. Mm -hmm. So these wouldn't be in your pack. Yeah. These, these are with right. the town clerk. Uh, these these are the ones that the town clerk had four sets of executive yeah, sessions. They, sen they sent them. No, they no. So executive. No. The way it works is um, executive session is a closed session, um, and when you draft up the minutes, you give them to the clerk in the sealed envelope. She holds them until we, as a board, uh, approve uh, approve them and release them. Um, so they kind of get held there. But be, uh, as being a board member now, what uh, I asked town council if you and I were privy to them, and if you remember, we, we raised that in a in a previous meeting. And he said, because you're on the board now, you absolutely are, even though we weren't on the board at the time that these executive minutes um, were created. Um, so, Right, and executive session minutes cannot be emailed because that would be... Uh, that was a special session. I think I saw it on the video. Like well, they usually, yeah, so they, they usually go in, they cut the video and then they go into it, oh, and then it's only written right. notes. So the it's only so way you'd be able to see what happened oh. is to go down to the clerk's office oh, okay. and, and read them. Um, if you wanted to, the clerk is down there right now. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to go take a look at the August 15th okay. executive yeah. session, you're able to do so. Um, do you think that would be a good idea to do that? Right. Yeah, do you can, want to take a 10-minute recess, or do you want to? Sure. Yeah, oh, I mean, oh, uh, we, can, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so August 15th. You, and you may also want to look at the August 29th okay. executive so session, because one? those are not public, and you would not have seen those if you didn't look there. Okay. Uh, those are the two that we will uh, we'll, we'll be voting on to release. Okay. So uh, actually, we actually don't have an August 29th executive session minute to release on here. It's, was there a reason for that? You should yeah, you should look at both while you're down there. Though. So well, the 15th and the, the 29th. The, the 29th. Yes. That's, it's an open set. Okay, that's well, the uh, the reason for that yeah. is. Uh, the August 29th executive session minutes I will have to amend oh, okay. so okay. we're going to want to like okay. vote to amend okay. it, and then we don't have to release it tonight okay uh, but but those are the ones that were in the email that I retrieved no those so were, those were open session meetings. so I went down I was down um, at the clerk's office earlier today to, to try to I figure to just this out and so yeah. okay. what so, we came up with there was actually two sets of minutes that were submitted to the clerk's office, both marked executive session. We read Correct. through them, however, one of them was clearly an open session minute. So what you have there is marked incorrectly, and we need to Correct. amend that this, to be this, open session. That's this one here yeah. that, you, that we, you sent. And the other one is still was still a sealed executive session minute. Correct. So this one. So there was a. Uh, that is so tonight we need to approve the open session. Yes, we okay. can do that, uh, and we. 
I'd like to amend the executive session minutes without exposing anything. Yeah, and I actually, um, I have a, um, if you, if it, I can do a quick uh, amendment and um, offer that up. Okay. If, if, the, if you'd like me to on, sure. the, on, the, on the 20 minutes of the 29th, marked as incorrectly as executive session. Okay. Without getting into any specifics. Okay. So I clear all this with the uh, clerk so before that's the correction to the open session? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, it, it was marked, yes. which was marked as executive session. Okay. And so, and I have the lead in for it, so we know which, because obviously there's two, and each one has a different lead in with who opened the meeting. So that, I'm going to reference it by who opened the meeting, so we can differentiate between, because technically right now we have two sets of executive session minutes right. that say two different things. Okay. One which is marked incorrectly, so for us to identify it in this meeting, I, they luckily enough the first line was opened by two different people. The meeting was opened by two different oh, people, okay. so it's easy to differentiate which one is supposed to be which. Okay. And if you got all that the first time, good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how long I spent we'll trying to figure that out. <laughs> it was actually um, the town clerk, uh, Laura, who figured that out as I was reviewing the other ones. Well, this one actually says opens at 7 p.m. Yeah. Right. Open session, mm -hmm. right at 7 p.m. But it was my executive session. Yeah. You want to alter anything? I'm going to take a formal recess for 10 minutes? Yeah, we have a recess for 10 minutes. Sure, okay. That'll be fine. Be right back. So I think we're well on our way here. So we're going back Zoom to back the open session. session? Open se we're resuming an open session. No, session. open session of 815. Just so I know where we're at. We are... Uh, yes, we haven't... Well, I think we did... I think we already did. Do we have to take? We don't have to take a vote to hold off on no, on the open session no, we're minutes just, of eight we're fifteen. Gonna, yeah, we're going to table. Which we the table open, them for now. Uh, the eight fifteen open session. And so that puts us on the release of executive sessions from, from eight fifteen, which yeah. have been approved at the eight twenty nine meeting. But now it's up to us to release it. And uh, if you reviewed the August 29th, if you feel that there's anything confidential in there, uh, we don't have to. On the release August, it, August 15th, 15th, you mean? 15th, yes. August 15th. Yeah, yes, I would yes. say no, don't release August 15th. That's what I read. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, because the a lot of most of what what I think has been has already been out, out in open session that w was discussed in that. Uh, but did did you have a, a well, issue with the? I have a because. Well, keep in mind yeah. we can't. Yeah. Um, we can't discuss a whole lot about yeah. those minutes not being in executive session right now. Okay. Um, so we don't want to bring up particulars about it. If you have reservations as to not wanting to release them, um, we, we, you know, it, I'll, I'll put it this way. <laughs> They've been approved. We do need to release them um, at some point. The protocol for releasing them is for us is to say, do we feel that the sub substance of those minutes has formally been addressed and is no longer an issue to keep private. Mm -hmm. So that's really, executive session is, is designed I mean, to keep private that which we don't, um, it, which shouldn't be out in the public's isn't there still some, purview. some issue with the public health nurse going on still in the town? Well, we sh that's that, what we shouldn't discuss. Name, that's what we shouldn't discuss in this, in this is, setting, though. those meetings. Um, yeah, but we, we can't discuss that now as, mm -hmm. as a board in this because we're in an open session. Mm -hmm. um, so anything that's of executive session, if you wanted to discuss them, we would have to, we'd have to not have to call for that um, to be released tonight and to, for our next meeting, set up an executive session to, to go in <coughs> and discuss those minutes. I mean, is it, is it just majority? Like that yes, so that if you're not comfortable, you can, you can vote not vote to release them. But I mean, it just seemed like it had personal information that... Unfortunately, here's the thing, though. Um, regardless of that, you do have to release them if you think the matter is resolved, regardless of the information that it contains. So your purview really isn't so much to look at and say, I don't think they should be released because there's sensitive information in there. Um, our purview is to look at and say um, that we either feel the sensitive information has been handled by the town or not, and if it has not, then we should not release it. It has been hidden by the town. I feel it has. 
then we should release it. And that's kind of our purview. It's not really so much to talk about the information contained or the sensitivity of it. Does that make sense? Right. And in subsequent subsequent open meetings, this a lot of what was in there has been brought out into the open. Right. So a lot of what you may feel is in there that's confidential is probably already been discussed. It's actually been discussed at um, Board of Selectmen meetings. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like it has been resolved what was put out. Okay, that's fine. But again, if you're uncomfortable, you're not, you, can, you, you, you can still vote no to not release them. Yeah. That's, that's completely, completely your right to do so. Um, just, just as another, I'm going to make another small amendment to that. I'm getting tedious now, mm -hmm. but as I was reading through them, there is a, at the bottom of page three of the August 15th executive session minutes, the last paragraph, there is an A-M-K-E that is clearly should be the word make. So oh. they just flip the M and the A around oh. there. Okay. Um, very, very, very clerical, <laughs> boring yeah, change, sure. but oh, that's... words matter and we don't want somebody thinking A-M-K-E stands for anything. So I would, um, I would make a motion to, uh, wait, have these been amended? Okay, I would make a motion to reapprove the executive session minutes of August 15, 2017 with the amendment at the bottom of page three, last paragraph, changing A-M-K-E to M-A-K-E. And I'll, I'll second that. So this is now me. We have to because um, I'm making a change. We have to reapprove them. So okay. first, we can take a vote to reapprove them as amended. Mm -hmm. Then we can still have discussion about releasing them. Okay. And we should have a roll call, roll call. to mm -hmm. okay. to reapprove re as amended. Um, as amended. Mr. Cost, uh, Mr. Sexton. Yes. Mr. Cost again. Yes. Ms. Pfeiffer. Yes. Okay, three zero. Harris three zero. And I believe the next the next step since the executive uh, minutes were approved and we're approved now as amended, uh, we would want to consider releasing them to the public. Um, I have personally read through them and and have seen a lot of the. Um, um, the subsequent meetings, especially with the Board of Selectmen, that have um, gone on after that back, and I feel like the, the matter has been adequately resolved. Mm -hmm. and, and as a member of the Board of Health at a me subsequent meeting, uh, I also believe that a lot of, all of the issues in the executive session were addressed uh, at the subsequent Board of Selectmen meeting. I think um, and, yeah, if you put it that way, that it has been resolved, even though some of the information. Unfortunately, yes, yeah, and that's, that's unfortunate, what executive guess, sessions are about, but, unfortunately. Yeah, so, but yeah, I guess all the issues that were brought up have been resolved. Okay, so if there's no other um, amendments, um, make a motion to release the executive session minutes of August 15th, 2017. I'll second the motion. I'll second. Probably a roll call here. It's well. a roll call for releasing releasing the August fifteenth executive, executive session, session minutes. minutes. Okay, Mr. Sexton. Yes. Mr. Costigan. Yes. Ms. Pfeiffer. Yes. Okay. Uh, she carries three zero. Three zero. <clears throat> Uh, next order of business would be the open session, August 29th uh, minutes. Which, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, which unfortunately were uh, labeled as executive session. So I yeah, I just read those there. Yeah, yeah do you have, well, do you have this one here? Yeah, I just read the 29th, though, I think. The 29th yeah. in the clerk's office were executive session. The open session meetings the were project. sent out as executive, was labeled executive session oh. incorrectly. 
So the ones you have, one that's in the packet, yeah, it's is actually open. supposed to be it's right. Exactly. Open. Those are open. Uh, so, so I guess we do. We have to amend the. Yeah. Uh, make a motion to amend the um, August 29, 2017, open session minutes that um, under the topic of the discussion opened. Uh, open session called at 7 p.m. by Costigan to amend the session itself from executive to open. Basically, you're correcting the, um, the label session, of the session. The, less, the, the label session of executive session to open session, correct. And then the last line needs to be changed then because it says re-entered into open session. Well, yes, we, right. we did reopen in, in open session in the selectmen's meeting, but I would also maybe like to to add to amend to meeting adjourned at the end of these at well if it, it adjourned uh, we were still in open session during our meeting with the selectmen so we did not adjourn until after our meeting with the selectmen was there any discussion by the board during that meeting uh, we discussed with as a as a quorum we discussed issues with the town council and selectmen. Which would have been in the Board of Selectmen's minutes. It would be, but we were still open, and we were on open session ourselves. So it sounds like though we should reference something. It seems like this just, you know, re-entered an open session at 7.30, but we did, there was no conclusion. Um, however, if there's gonna be, a, it'll be a big time gap of when you re-entered and when you'll close them out, because you're, Essentially, I, I don't recall how late that meeting went, somewhere around the 10.30 hour. So that's a big difference in time between 7.30 and 10.30 to have no actual minutes. Well, we, we should probably reference something where the minutes are referenced in the Board of Selectmen's minutes from 8.29. Okay, we could Something to that, that effect. So, we can do there's, so at like least a, there's, a, there's at least a trail that people could follow to see, okay, where did the, where's that gap? Right, so uh, it's like 7.30 to... Well, we, we did not, we were not there the whole selectmen's meeting. We were there for maybe an hour, an hour in discourse with the selectmen and the town council. So, right, so probably, could, when, yeah, but it didn't start right at 7.30. The, I think it was on, on for 8 o'clock, was it not? Or was it right yeah, at 7.30? I think it was 8 o'clock. Because typically, mm -hmm. the, even if it was on at, even if it was on at 7.30, by the time, Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Normal, normal opening around. procedures go yeah. on with the selectmen and, and um, liaison reports and public comment. Um, then it probably would have been around eight o'clock. Um, do we have to be time specific? Yeah, Jean, I, I think can we just reference? Um, can we just reference the board of selectmen yep. minutes in general and say that this that the board closed at the conclusion of. Um, um, let's see, can we just put in there that the, the, the remaining minutes are part of the Board of Selectmen's 829-17 overall minutes and that the Board of Health um, uh, closed um, or motion to adjourn after, 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 after the discussion of the Board of Health and the, and the, and the selectmen. Board. Just I, rather than just trying to figure out the timeline of it all, yeah. I just kind of put it all onto the minutes because it will be mm -hmm. reflected. Mm -hmm. So remaining board of minutes, see board of selectmen overall for overall minutes. I'll just say at the conclusion of the joint session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. And so then that being said, then we would need to approve the amended open session minutes for August 29th. To, um, should, do we need to take a? We should take a, a vote on that amendment that we're we're adding in, amending this. Uh, again, a, sec, a second time. Okay. Second amendment. Yes. I'll motion to um, motion to accept the second amendment to the eight twenty nine seventeen open session minutes. Can I second that? Okay. okay. All in favor of accepting the second amendment, vote. Okay. I I three zero. Three zero. Now we can do it. Okay. So now uh, to approve <coughs> the amended minutes of August 29th open session. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All 
Okay, all in favor of approving the amended minutes of open session of August 29th? 3 0 aye. In the affirmative. Okay, and next would be uh, the approval of the executive session minutes of August 29th. And I would like to amend the open session meeting minutes without without getting particular in what it was discussed. Uh, well, it's open session, isn't it? Right? Uh, executive session minutes. Just an acceptance of minutes. Time October 18th. Uh, October, uh, no, this is so long. Which was yeah. August, August 29th. Is that on the agenda? No. Oh, wait. No, we don't, we do not have the executive oh, session okay. minutes on the agenda, so we'll have to put that on the agenda for next time. Oh, okay. Okay. And, uh, have, has those ones been approved, John? They have not. Okay, so you, then you can just make the, you can just make the change and submit it. Uh, yes. I and I can then uh, take a look at it before the next meeting, and we can vote on it. Okay. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Because it's not on the agenda. Tonight. Okay, yeah, and I've got written. Uh, I suppose we could vote on the amendment because it is not uh, specific to anything that was confidential. Basically, I didn't put it in here. I did have a written, written amendment. Even though it's not on your agenda tonight, you want to get into it? Uh, okay. You okay? Maybe we'll I just. I think that might be so best I'm... to handle it all on a separate agenda when it's all. Handle all at once. Yeah. It's okay. So we want to release executive minutes for August 29th on the next agenda? Yes. Yeah. Yep, please. To approve and release, right? Correct. So there were to two edit. sessions, yes. an open to session and an executive session. There's, there's always two because you have to open an open session and then yeah. go into executive mm -hmm. session. So even, you know, even for that one minute, you could be, the approval of an open session could be that we opened and, we, and then we did not return to open. Yeah. Could be a one-liner. So I'd like to table the minutes of executive session on August 29th, uh, table amending, uh, approving, and releasing until the next session. Well, I mean, I will in the meantime amend. Okay. Okay. But, uh, so we just need to approve and release that next, next month. Yep. Yes. yes. <clears throat> so then we have the minutes of October 18th. October 18th, which was our last meeting. Uh, I just had a question regarding that. There was no reference in the minutes to the public hearing. Hmm. Uh, look at 1018. Mm -hmm. uh, there was also one of the members in the pre one of the members in the audience was was not listed. And do you see anywhere about the public hearing? on our last meeting. You could just put it in, in the first line, public hearing in the community room. Public hearing was at 6.30, if I'm remembering correctly? Uh, I think 6.15. 6.15, yeah, 6 you're right. You're we, right. We, had, we had a few minutes, maybe too long, of, of open discussion. But we did have the public hearing at 6.15. Yeah, so there should be some comments from the public that are in there as well. Uh, also, the, one of the members that came in late of the public was Carolyn, uh, Carolyn Whiting. I don't know if we have the sign-in sheet, but... Uh, she, she came sure. in later. Yeah, well, our records are a little thin on this. Okay. I 
All right, so it sounds like we need to, we probably need to table this one at the yeah. sound of it. And, and have both the uh, public hearing reference as well as the public comment that was in that. Yeah. Did we have that? Did we have that tape too? Maybe you can look in for the same purpose of um, the other minutes that you're going to look into, Gene. Yep. Make sure we got we get all the, the right comments in there. Yep. Good catch. And I guess we can table the approval of those minutes. Of October 18th? Yeah. So anybody else has anything they want to Are you looking add? At, um, there's like a typo. It says set up, it up. So under the R system. The sixth line in the second paragraph, just it up. I think she just get crossed out or set up, set it up. I guess set Could up set is up. to an extra up. I set mean. up, it up. Yes, yeah, yeah, set okay. it up instead of set. Set it up. Okay, we could eliminate that up. Kevin, did you really say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking for that. Where is that? Okay. Right, right here. Yeah, just set an set extra up, up I guess. Up. Mm -hmm. set, could set up it up now. This would be ten eighteen. It helps if I'm looking at ten eighteen. I wonder why I couldn't find that. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at that, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a direct quote because it's not in um, quotation marks, but it's just. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's, yeah, take the up guess, first so. up out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good catch, yes. I, I kind of didn't notice that. Um, do you have anything else you want to go over, or would you like a motion to adjourn? Gee, I, that's about all I have for right now. And just the last one, where some person, Yahara Osmond, stated, and then it doesn't say anything, or is that on there? No, it's, yeah, it's on the other is. side. No, no, it just kind of drops off. Yeah, so yeah, it's stated. I think she stated that she thought it would be better to have that on like a an a, a PDF file. The handout that I gave, she said something about having it on a PDF file. She made a suggestion instead of the handout. That's what I remember. Was it a problem with it being on the website? Or maybe like yeah, PDF on the website, you know, something that people could yeah, review. Like that. She said so somebody could review it. Mm -hmm. And what what was our next uh, scheduled meeting in December? What was the third Tuesday? Yeah, that. Is that going to interfere with any plans for people or? It's the 19th. That's the 19th. Yeah, Board of meets back to back Tuesday, Wednesday that week, but Plum Grove. Was, we can try for 5:30 on that day. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And what was the date? Um, December 19th. December 19th. I have that down. Okay. That's, what I, that's what I had written down. Because this okay. was the fourth, just because of Thanksgiving, but it's yes. normally the third. Right. That's why, like, I think. I was expecting it last week, so I had our, my schedule was already done okay. for this week. So. Okay, December 19th, Tuesday. Okay. Is, is that something we have to go to the Board of Selectmen also about the pesticide? Do we have to? Well, that's that's something I'm gonna I'm gonna have to speak with them when we kind of put it off a little bit just because they've been so busy with the budget and all. Are they still in budget talks too? Yeah. Is that uh, that's yeah. what's going on that weekend? Yeah. Uh, okay. We started on December 12th, 12th okay. and 13th, oh, and okay. then the so 19th week. Yep. Yeah. So it'll probably be uh, early next year. Yeah, yes. they're pretty booked. And is this going to be here or at the library? Here, we're putting up the library. Okay. We don't get the library until February. So February, got it.
So the one after that is January 16th, I think. Yeah. Did you get on? Yeah. On the packet. Oh, all right. Yep. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. I did see that actually. Uh, okay. So now on this, Laura, this January 16th, that is going to. Burger. That's burger. Okay. And the 20th is library. Then I have to wait to see which one I can get. Okay. Come on forward. Uh, just uh, Heidi, Kevin, just so this this sixteenth is going to be here rather yep. than not not in the. Not in the library. Library. I don't know is that going to affect you? Is, is that school vacation for you guys? Or, for me, it's fine. But I don't know if that's school. Is that school vacation? Uh, is that week My time. I, don't, I, don't I believe that is, but I'm not doing anything until the end of that week. Right. Motion to adjourn. Yeah, that's fine that week. Okay, good. Yes, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All right, motion to adjourn. In favor, yes. One, two, three. All right. Meeting adjourned. Thank, Thank you all. You.